Knox County leaders say they're very concerned as current hospitalizations hit record highs. Health leaders report 51 Knox County residents are in the hospital with COVID-19, up more than two dozen patients from 35 one week ago. 10 News reporter Grace King explains this is also a trend outside of Knox County. The Knox County Health Department has a clear message. We're still seeing real consequences to this disease in our community. Despite the lower case counts, the pandemic isn't over. This week, we have the highest number of COVID-19 hospitalizations since the pandemic began. This week, both Knox County and East Tennessee saw a record number of people hospitalized with COVID-19. Please stay the course, even if you're tired. As of Tuesday, the region reported 192 hospitalizations, with 55 people in the ICU and 24 on ventilators. The hospital trend is not going in the right direction, and we are very concerned about it. Um, on the plus side, we are not seeing um, the ICU and ventilator usage go up um, at the same rate as the hospital. If you feel sick or have been exposed to someone with COVID-19, KCHD is encouraging people to get tested. We're worried that the burden of disease in the community is higher than what our rates are showing uh, and that this is a reflection of that. Without widespread testing, it can be hard to slow the virus. We really need people to get testing tested um, so we can have quick, rapid response, turnaround for contact tracing. And right now, that's not happening. And over the last two weeks, testing has decreased in our community. I'm Grace King reporting. Again, testing is free at your local health department. And in East Tennessee, Campbell County is reporting a record high of 45 new active COVID-19 cases. Sevier County reports 46 new cases. Several counties have also reported new deaths. Cumberland, Fentress, Hamblin, and Sevier all report one new death.